Today, the extensive manual labor to flatten and fix my Forever Island continues. This is my original island I've had since I started playing New Horizons in February 2021. I love the term Forever Island. I think Sparksby came up with it originally. Also, I'm curious if you've ever flattened your island before, please let me know in the comments. And do you completely flatten the whole island or do you kind of do sections at a time, like flatten one section then kind of redecorate it straight away? Because that's kind of how I've decided to do it because I just get so keen to finally give my island the makeover she deserves and I don't want to be too hard on myself. Like I definitely tried my best with the purple flowers and design codes that I already kind of had in place but the whole island didn't really have any direction and I just really struggled with the overall flow and cohesiveness of the aesthetic as a whole, if that makes sense. So now with Pinterest by my side for inspiration, my island is starting to slowly look a lot better. But yeah, even when I'm done with decorating this island, I kind of want to continue to play. Like I'm still trying to 100% New Horizons because I've never done it before in the previous Animal Crossing games. But like as I run around and do all the tedious things that you have to do in Animal Crossing life, I just want it to actually look good. And so that's the reason why I'm flattening. And also I've just never really been happy with my island. So inevitably after seeing so many amazing islands online, it's finally time to stop being lazy and just give some love to my own island. And you can see as I'm doing this that there's kind of already areas where I tried to make it cute but I was just kind of lazy and it just never ended up how I actually wanted it to. There's also some areas that just get so laggy for literally no reason. Like I think my house used to be in the area where the shops are and there was some inclines diagonally behind it. And I know you can't really help the lag, unfortunately, in this game, unless you make the island just completely plain and boring. But I am trying my best to keep my decorating pretty simple and natural. But it does indeed sadden me that even though I love this shop area now, it's already kind of laggy. And there's still spaces that I kind of have to fill in or like, that I might change and add more to. But anyway, today you can see I'm focusing on resident services. This back area I originally tried to do as the roost before the 2.0 update because the museum is just down there. But it will all be changing now. So I'm gonna fully redo like the front section and then fill in the area immediately around the back. And then I'll kind of just expand out from there when I go off towards the other sections of my islands. I find it really hard to plan the island. Like I feel like some people have a really good sense of where they're gonna put things and how it's gonna flow all together. But I have actually no idea what I'm doing. And I have a general idea of what I wanna do. But as I kind of do it and connect it all, I'll kind of see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like I have an idea of what I'm doing, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Anyway, also really quickly, here's the entrance that I've redone recently. So after you fly in, the gyroids are here to welcome you by singing the song of our people. Just beautiful. And I've also always really struggled with my airport being so close to the resident services. So that's why these little cliffs are here because I've decided I don't really like it being open and just seeing the building straight away. I kind of really like a cozy entrance moment. And then so going back to the just the front of resident services on Pinterest, these are mostly my inspirations. I like the plaza looking areas with the fountains, but now I've already kind of done that in front of the shops. And this leads down to the beach. So I started doing this path to connect it, but then I just ended up changing it. So we can skip that. And then I just put some medium palm trees. And see, now you can see that I changed the path to be like stripey. And for the few hours that it took me to do this, like I said, I literally had no idea what I wanted to do. So it took a lot of trial and error, just placing things and changing things. I did have an idea of what items I wanted to use, but I might even eventually swap some out or change the customization of some of them depending how it looks at the different seasons. Recently I went to some treasure islands to actually get the items and you would think that after playing for like three years that I would have everything I need. But it turns out that I don't. So yeah, I've been using treasure islands. And also I think that's part of the reason why it's taken me so long to finally decorate my island properly because at first I found it really hard to decorate with the- oh my god Ellie move out the way. I found it really hard to decorate with the items that I had like when I first started playing the game and I know obviously you start with nothing but um, I didn't really get the concept of grinding for materials for furniture and then crafting it all and then customizing it all to match everything because even when you craft stuff there's not really a way to tell whether you can customize it. As much as it's easy to just look online for inspiration I think Happy Home Paradise also really helped me start to kind of understand a lot of the different versions of furniture items that existed and then obviously all the new ones that came with the update as well that kind of helped me practice decorating but I feel like even on 
wasn't happy home paradise. I still kind of sucked at decorating at first. But yeah, here I am trying to make it work. Um, the pergolas didn't stay. Yeah, like I said, I tried some benches and I just tore it all down and then tried something else. Next, I added some flowers. I cleaned up the beach a little bit. Ran in aimless circles. Evergreen ashes behind the chairs. Trust the process. Custom pathing. And then it looked like it was starting to take shape finally. More custom pathing. Lily of the valleys, boom. That's right, I have a five star island. More custom pathing, boom. Vine bench, boom. Fine bench, wrong bench, there we go. Make them symmetrical. Hey, hey. So yeah, this is what I ended up coming up with. This is what I created for the front section of my residence services. Not really anything like the Pinterest inspiration, but I didn't want it to be exactly the same, obviously. It was just kind of for inspiration and the layouts. I think I've kind of figured out a good method where you just kind of use benches and place things behind them and <laughs> And yeah, symmetry, I really like the symmetry of all the islands that I see. And I'm not pressed about my whole island being really symmetrical, but there are some parts that I really appreciate the symmetry and I think resident services and the entrance is one of them and then the shops as well and the museum as well. So basically all the buildings, all the default buildings in the game. But yeah, anyway, moving on to the back, got a path going up the side here, getting rid of this tree cliff here, blah, blah, blah. I did this path going behind, put some trees. As I figure out what I actually want to put behind the resident services, who wants to talk about the new... Animal Crossing leaks that we got for the new Switch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I posted that video like saying, Dear Nintendo, I'm writing you a letter because I want all of this stuff in the next game. And then we got leaks. Like even though the leaker might not be 100% accurate, I just cannot wait. I'm so excited that even though it's not official news from Nintendo, that they're clearly definitely making an updated game and hopefully considering some things that we need like more multiplayer options and everything like that. Yeah, I just can't wait for all the mini games hopefully that we're gonna get and I can't wait to see like what's gonna be accurate out of the leak and like the things that we might not even have any idea that are coming to the game like oh my gosh it just gets me so excited i feel so ready so ready to tackle a new animal crossing game but also like am i really ready it took me so long to get the hang of this game <laughs> i don't know if i'm really ready but at the same time i am and i can't wait for hopefully a bunch of people to come back to the game to have like the whole community buzzing again it's just gonna be so much fun i feel more prepared in the sense that i'm gonna be throwing my money at the new game <laughs> I'm not gonna be waiting a whole year like I did for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna be like right at the start, you know? I better start saving up now. <laughs> ah, I wonder if it will be compatible to play on the current Switch or if we'll definitely have to get like the new Switch to play the new Animal Crossing. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you getting so excited about it? Really quickly, just before I go, not to brag or anything, but you know how I said I wanted to 100% New Horizons? I'm nearly there. I did my turnip, shout out to my boyfriend for letting me come over for a million trips when I found good turnip prices finally. I'm so happy I finally have the turnip stamp, I never thought this day would come. And I also never thought that I would have a cute looking island, but now it's really coming along. Please enjoy this barbecue that someone prepared for me. After all of my hard work, this barbecue just appeared in my plaza. I was like, where is everyone? <laughs> is this all just for me? You really shouldn't have, guys. Props to my villagers. Not all of them will be staying <laughs> for the completion of the island, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> it's a very nice thought. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day or night or time zone. See you in the next video.